we're at the garden of the Saskatoon Food Bank. It's called the Garden Patch. Here's a project that touches all levels of environmentalism and with scores of people in the community involved, teaches everybody about what's up. So, Britt, what's going on here exactly? Well, first of all, thanks for having us here. So like you said, this is a project of the Saskatoon Food Bank and Learning Centre. So called the Garden Patch, we're growing food on about a one and a half acre vacant lot. Uh, everything that you see here in this garden is harvested and goes to the food bank and then goes out to community schools and organizations. And so how many people are out gardening here all together? All together, uh, we see over 500 volunteers a year. Um, I could say potentially even more than that this year. We've had absolutely great turnout from the community. Well, I can see that uh, fresh food is, is healthy, um, it's good economically um, and socially, but I guess there's also direct econom uh, environmental benefits, right? That's right, there's, uh, there's lots uh, in a garden. Uh, for example, we've definitely been conscious about planting lots of native plants, uh, lots of wildflowers, uh, to try to encourage a habitat for our bees and our pollinators, our butterflies, and we also have two beehives at the end of our garden as well. Of course, when you're gardening, you're opening up space and a lot of pervious uh, space to allow for groundwater recharge as well as lessening surface runoff. Uh, we also are very conscious about using sustainable farming techniques such as using mulch uh, for soil health and water conservation as well. We use a lot of compost teas uh, and we don't spray any pesticides or herbicides as well as uh, when urban agriculture is starting to be seen as an important part of food security uh, and also just a big part of building sustainable resilient cities we're just here to try and encourage people to pick up the pitchfork and dig in and get involved and uh, see your food grow and feel it touch it eat it and go through that whole cycle so why don't you show us some of the things you're growing great um, we have over 20 uh, different varieties of vegetables so we've been really conscious to choose uh, diversity of different uh, species and different kinds. We have cucumbers, broccolis, uh, zucchini, chard. Uh, we planted lots of sunflowers, corn, peppers, tomatoes, peas, beans. Uh, we have lots of different things. Wow, what, a, what an amazing contribution. I mean, the food bank's already doing so much, but to, to get this on the, on the radar is uh, brilliant. So thank you very, very much. Thanks for having us. Here's a bird's eye view of the garden patch in Saskatoon. It exhibits numerous environmental features. For example, the open ground would absorb water and cleanse it. I can visualize healthy mushroom and bee populations here. And supper's brought home by bike without gas, without bags, boxes and bubble wrap. But what strikes me most about this image is that it is very literally and figuratively green on every level. A garden, even a potted plant will take carbon dioxide out of the air and in the most rudimentary sense reverse the process of climate change. It's carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that are accumulating in the environment that's causing havoc with our weather. So growing vegetation literally reverses this process. And so while most of the land in our communities are net producers of greenhouse gases, Gardens in all these small green areas are reversing the process in a, something we call carbon sequestration. Imagine reversing climate change while growing fruits and vegetables. How cool is that? Eric, pumpkin or apple? Gardening is about so much more than just putting food on the table. It's healthy, it's inexpensive, it's lots of fun, and it's delicious. On top of that, it's very literally and significantly greening the environment. It absorbs carbon dioxide from the air, it absorbs water and keeps it clean, it clears the mind, reduces carbon dioxide emissions by transportation and packaging and food, and it promotes cohesion in the community. Gardening and old-fashioned technology making a world of difference. For more Green Deeds, check out our website at greendeeds.ca. Till next time, I'm Janine Paul. Thanks for watching.